Hey guys, and welcome to Fisherman Huddle. We take fishing and break it down from baits, lures, you know, fishing areas, what's hot, what's new, and we bring it live to you. This is a place where all fishermen come together and we have a powwow, we discuss things, we bring up hot topics in the fishing world. So, let's get it started. Again, welcome to Fisherman Huddle. Uh, thank you guys for joining in and tuning in. We have some great exciting things coming up for you today and some great topics and great discussions are coming up for you today. First of all, if you're a new fisherman, you're looking for great sites and great things to hook up with and uh, learn a lot from good people, I can give you three good guys you can check out. These guys are qualified trainers and teachers about fishing and how to do this and how to have a great time uh, to make things a lot easier for you. First of all is Gene Jason Fluke Master, man. I watched this guy, you know, for four years. You know, the first year of my fishing career, I watched a lot of his stuff, how to approach a bank, how to break down a bank, how to reel in big fish, where to look for fish, what's the hot spots for fish that, that you want to go to when you're looking around for places to fish and you're trying to target those big fish and you're trying to locate, you're trying to cut down a pond and you, you want to know and understand, okay, where are these fish at? Where can I locate fish really quick? And some big monster kraken bass. I call them krakens. I call them the big boys krakens. And um, he can tell you all about that thing. Next, my boy John B. He's a part of the Guggen Squad. You can check him out. As a matter of fact, he has a great episode coming up. He's doing something in Sudan right now, and um, you can check him out live. He has a great channel and great information. I love his channel and the way he does his videos, so check John B. out. And also, very informative young guy, Tyler's Real Fishing. Check him out, man. He can, he can show you about crankbaits. He's a master with the crankbaits. And, uh, check him out. He has great videos and, and very informative young man and he can show you about fishing and break those things down for you please please check him out if you're a new fisherman and you're um warning about this lure or that lure how to use this and how to use that he's a great person to check out and don't forget you know the month is rolling over and if you don't you guys don't know a lot of in the fisherman world you know there's some, there's some cool things going on, and if you're looking to break open, break open some spring baits and lures, please check out the one and only Mystery Tackle Box. Like I say previously, previously in all my videos, um, this box is a value of about $30, but you can get it on a low for $5, only 5 bucks. Check that out. You can check out Guggen Squad. Those guys always have promo codes, or you can go to MrTigerBots.com and get sure if you sign up if you sign up now you can I know they have some type of promo code there so you can check them out and check out Mystery Tackle Box man they have a variety of baits uh, Carl's Bait and Tackle are great with putting a combination of baits together for different times of the season in this spring season you know it's probably like crawls or or uh, creature bait or worms are very good to get you started into the spring season. All right, guys, moving right along to the sauce. These are things that we get these fish hyped up, and we as fishermen, we go out and fish these things, whether we lipless crank baits or worms or jigs or uh, flukes. We go out and we master these things. We learn how to use these baits and lures to the nth degree and we bring the sauce and we bring the heat to these fish because as a fisherman you gotta know how to move these lures, how to create a reaction bite, and what to do with these lures. First of all, Strike King has something new for those guys who like to punch and look for those big fish in that thick grass. It's a cool bait. Um, it's called the punch bug. It's a cool bait. It looks very versatile, very tough, rugged. It looks like a, of course, creature, but creature bait. So check out Strike King and, uh, and Punch. Uh, 
also moving on. Okay, Titan. Uh, Titan Tungsten, Tungsten Weights. They have a Pro Series uh, that you guys can check out at, at uh, tight, TitanTungsten.com. Check those guys out there. And they have different types of Pro Series from flipping, from flipping to worms, all new weights. So check those guys out. They always have something fresh and, and cooking for us fishermen. And also, of course, of course, the Guggen Squad. I mean, they got some great baits. I use them myself. I've been using them, their baits for uh, several months. I like their Crack and Craw. I like the uh, Pure Passion Worms, man. And the Trench Hog. I'm going to be getting the Trench Hog. Uh, they have the Mondo Worm. It's a cool, versatile bait. You can use it for flipping, pitching. Or just swimming it on in. It's basically like a worm, but just like a long flappy tail on it. Very versatile bait. You can use that anywhere. And it'll be great for the springtime, man, when these, when these fish are kind of finicky and they're just trying to move around and get things going, get the blood flowing after the long winter haul. You can check that out at Guggen, guggenbaits.com. Hey, what's up guys, your boy The Nature Boy here. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about a particular bait that I like to use, that I like to throw. It uh, looks good in the water, it uh, matches the hatch, and it's an all around great bait. And I was uh, going around looking for some baits to use at Bass Pro Shops, and I want something realistic that uh, fits in, it blends in with the environment. And so, Strike King, uh, perfect plastic, the clear, clear bait. You know, uh, it was an option for me because I, I knew that I, I, I knew what I wanted when I was coming to shop and what type of bait that I wanted to use. So, um, the, and also the way I, I like to use it, I put it on a um, a drill in two, three out hook, weighted. I drill that bad boy in. I use it. It's a great bait, and I love. The, I love the flappy tail. Pretty cool bait. I love the flappy tail. Gives that bait some action. And it's so clear. If you look at that, see through it mimics, you know, shad, you know, little small bait fish. And I like that. <clears throat> and also, um, <clears throat> Another uh, lure I like to use with uh, Strike King, it's a favorite of mine, you know, it's one of those those baits I like to use, and uh, it's a really cool bait. Uh, the Colorado Blade. It's a cool, versatile bait. I mean, you can throw it, like they say, in cover, rough area, bounce off a lot of things, you can use it dark water, clear water, and it's just something I really like to use. And of course, I was strolling down the aisle and I was trying to figure out, you know, what I wanted to use, how I wanted to use it, and I rode up on striking. If you're an early riser, you want to get to the ponds, especially around the springtime, top water is a great, great thing to use. If you don't know about top water, you know, it's cool to get that morning bite. Me, personally, I like the popper. I prefer the black popper with red out white stripes. I like throwing that. It's not defined as a frog or anything. You buy it at Big Sporting Goods, just a regular black popper. That's pretty cool. And also, and last but not least, again, check out Mystery Tackle Box. Get your MTB Slam in. Break open your spring box and check out, check those, those guys out and see what they offer. And uh, and that's it for Fisherman Huddle for today. And go out, have some fun, break open in the springtime and get hooked up with your monster bass. I'll see you next time.